Hello everyone, my name is Michael Jackowski. I'm the law professor and co-founder of Any Lawyer. I'm starting a series of short five minutes interviews with distinguished guests on AI in legal business. My first guest is Adam Zadrożny, head of AI in Any Lawyer and uh, professor of astrophysics. Uh, hi Adam, it's great uh, you are here. Hi Michael, it's great to be here. So as it's our first episode, let's go to the basics. Let's start uh, with the basics. And uh, what, what do you think, Adam? Do lawyers really need AI? I would say that lawyers need AI. AI helps with mundane tasks. It would help to focus on the essence, most substantial tasks and core of, of work. It increases speed, and increases accuracy. And uh, where is the meeting point between mundane and substantial in, in what, what do you think about it? Okay. So imagine that you need to prepare a report for a client. And usually you start with the outline, you probably will have it on, the, on an instant. Then you need to make a paragraph, you need to make the first draft, second draft, third draft, around 11, 12 draft, it would be almost ready. And then you need to make the fine tuning for your client, but you almost have no time. But with AI, you have an outline. You directly go to the fifth draft because AI prepares for you nicely formulate paragraphs based on your outline. And then you start working on the report. You are five versions ahead. And then when you start working on it, the ideas came to your mind. You get to the 11th draft. It's almost finished. But you are on the half time as normally. You have 50% of the time that you originally would allocate for it for fine tuning of this report. Make it the best possible fit for your client to focus what are the main interests of your client. And this is the advantage that AI gives you. Okay, so you think that uh, a lawyer armed in AI is faster, better, but uh, he will not be replaced by AI. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Basically, if you get the request from your client, the client says what he needs. But the job of a lawyer is to figure it out what he really needs. You have a relation with your client. It probably, it's probably yes. And then you know, okay, he have a, a problems with, with this, but it also means that he has problem uh, B and C that has to be solved. It's your job to tell him that probably there is something more that has to be done. And you can know it because you know how the law works, you know your client, and you, you do have history. And AI could not do that. AI would just do the task that was requested. On the other hand, if you need to construct a solution, you are using the parts that you already have seen, and you put those bricks, but for every problem, you need to add something extra. And usually you won't have time to add this extra. You, you just glue the solution from you already know. And what AI gives you is to recall the old solution for the old problems. And then you need to focus what is extra needed for the solution. Because what the chat GPT does or any other AI tools, it's recalling the solution that, that was already there and adding some extra sauce from the language to glue those solutions together. I couldn't agree more, Adam. I think that uh, in legal business, we connect uh, relations, emotions, and knowledge and information. And I also agree that uh, ChatGPT or AI helps us in these uh, repetitive tasks, uh, finding knowledge, uh, linking facts, but uh, emotions and relations be on our side. So I agree that we will not be replaced by, by AI. Uh, thank you, Adam, for this interesting interview. Thank you, Michael. And uh, you guys, if you want to join us, uh, same hour, same day next week, and see you. Bye-bye.